Brothers, for those of you who are watching these Sowing the Faith videos, if you want to be notified every time I post something new, you can subscribe to my channel, click on the notification bell, give a thumbs up and like the video because you certainly will be greatly blessed. May the Lord God bless you. Regarding the Holy Spirit of God, Jesus said the following in John 14, 17. The Spirit of Truth. This is the true, the tr real origin of the Holy Spirit. Jesus is the truth. It is the Spirit of Christ, folks. The anointing that he has and received in the Jordan River. Now this Spirit is in our lives. Whom the world cannot receive. The people who are of the world, who are always in sin and are practicing sin. There is no way they can receive it, folks because it neither sees him nor knows him. They don't even have the understanding, never had an experience with him, and was never touched by him. But if you are of God, then you have been touched. But you know him, Jesus said, for he dwells with you and will be in you. There are two stages. In salvation, he comes to be by our side, to protect and to keep us. But when we are baptized by the Holy Spirit, he comes to live in us and will never abandon us. It is very important that we love Jesus in this manner and have the Holy Spirit of God. Take a look at what a person received, a blessing, and I'll be right back. What happened to you, my friend? I could only sleep with my arm like this. Why is that? I've been feeling pain here for two or three years. Two or three years? It was a really strong pain. It hurt over here. Yes, I could move my arms like this, but the pain would never go away. And now? Now the pain is gone. For me to sleep, I had to go like this or like this. To get up, I had to go roll out to get out of bed because I didn't have the strength to get out of the bed because of the pain. How about now? Now I don't feel anything. And you will never have it again. Let's applaud Jesus. You can go now, man of God. So let's pray now, Father. I want to pray right now for all these people who are not baptized by the Holy Spirit. They are of Jesus and they are seeking the Lord God. Father, prepare them so that in the right moment you can come and baptize them. They will then be filled with your power, with authority that comes from you, so they can do your work. Thank you, in the name of Jesus, and amen. Have a good day.